This video will demonstrate how to quickly and easily create a Google Gmail contact group for all of your students so that you can use that contact group to quickly address an email to all of your students or to quickly share a Google document with all of your students or create a Google calendar event or series of calendar events that will be set up to automatically email your students notices of those events um, such as the next day's homework assignment. Um, that last bit about using the Google Calendar will be a separate video. Now to um, gather the student contact information we're going to create a form that students will fill out online and to do that I'm going to go to my Google Docs interface and I'm going to choose create new drag down to form and here is the form editing uh, window and I'm going to entitle this form bio one contact list and you can also include in instructions here uh, or directions how to fill out the form I usually in include uh, a reminder for students to enter the full gmail address including at gmail.com now the first question in the form is going to be our first data field and we're going to entitle that first name and then the next data field or question I'm going to edit it by clicking the little pencil icon here the next question or field is going to be last name and then to get a third question or field I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to change the field name to email address. Now I should note that you need to have these fields named correctly as I did here. If you, for instance, put Gmail address instead of email address, um, the, uh, the data will not be exported and imported correctly. Um, so you need to have um, these particular names set up. Now I'm going to click the Save button. Now, once you've saved it, you can give your students this URL here down at the bottom, which is very long and very complex and really hard to copy um, from the, the Blackboard or and then to uh, for have them to, um, to type it into the URL box. That would be difficult as well. Um, you can uh, use this link if you're editing a web page. You can paste this link for students to quickly go to this form. Um, I choose a third option. I embed this form in a web page that I create with a web page building application. And to get that code, I go to More Actions and click Embed. And here's the, uh, here's the code that I will paste in the uh, web page's URL, not URL, HTML. Um, and this is what my form looks like when it's embedded into my web page. So the form is right here. Now, when students go to this form, they'll enter their first name, their last name, and their Gmail address, and they'll click the Submit button, and that data will be fed into a spreadsheet that looks like this. It's got a column for the first names, the last names, and the email address, and if you'll notice, it also has an additional column for timestamp. This is the time at which a student entered their data. Now, you don't need to worry about this. Uh, it's not, this data is not going to be exported uh, when we export the data from this spreadsheet. Um, you don't need, even need to delete it. Now, in order to get this data into a Gmail contact group, we first need to export it. And to do that, you go to the File menu. And um, they don't have an export option, but you can download it as. And the file format we want to download it as is a CSV file. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to save it to my download folder. And now I'm going to my Gmail interface and I want to create a new contact group for my class. So I'm going to click on contacts and click on new group. And I'm going to call this bio one and I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to choose more options and click import. Now even though I've highlighted this group I also need to select it right here so the data is going to be imported into that group and now I'm going to browse to that CSV file that I downloaded and I'm going to click open 
and then click the import button and all 11 students have been imported into that contact group. Now uh, I'll just quickly show you how to use this contact group uh, to address an email to uh, all of your students. I'm going to click on mail, click compose mail and usually when I'm sending an email to all of the students I don't put all of their email addresses in the to box. I'll just put uh, a fake gmail address and then I'll click the BCC link or blind carbon copy and now I'll click it again and I'll get my uh, a window showing all of my contacts and I'm going to choose the bio one contact group and now I'll select all and click done and all the email addresses will be put in the blind carbon copy box and then I'll click send alright that's it for um, creating um, a class contact information group in Gmail.